In this video, I'm going to show you a simple bend but don't break defense that is going to help you stop aggressive catches. It's also going to help you stop the majority of things that you're going to see. And again, this is a bend but don't break defense. We're relying on our pass rush. We're relying on our sheds. And we're relying on the fact that chances are your opponent is going to make a mistake if you force them to have to drive up and down the field every single time. This defense comes to us out of the big nickel over G defense, um, which is my personal, I think one of the most adaptable coverage defenses uh, in the game. It's really truly one of the better defenses this year uh, for a lot of different reasons. And hopefully in the October patch, they're gonna be uh, hopefully updating the safety issues. Um, that we do have within this formation in terms of the safeties flipping against trips tight end type formations um, but um, there are ways around that we cover that in our big nickel over g defensive ebook it was the first ebook that i released this year um, and i believe it's still one of the better defenses and if you want to learn my entire big nickel over g defense we've since updated it um, in our patreon but our patreon is only 10 bucks if you want to sign up you get access to all Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, including the Big Nickel over G. So the coaching adjustments that I personally prefer for this defense is we're going to go ahead and we're going to put our ball and air defense on play receiver. We're going to put our option defense on conservative. And then we're going to make sure that our zone coverage is set to match. If you want to put this on base align, uh, you certainly can. I do think that that's actually very valuable. Okay, so big nickel over G and the defense is cover two. You don't want to make any adjustments. You don't want to put slot cornerback package on. You might want to sub in players like you are, are certainly can, um, you know, sub in whoever you want, wherever you want. But you want to make sure that your default package is on because that is what unlocks this basic coverage that we're going to get into. So again, cover two is the play call. Um, I'm just going to come out and uh, I'm going to set one audible uh, real quick. And we'll show you just, U-Trips is just an example of a really popular formation this year. And we're just going to show you, um, you know, how how this is how this is kind of equipped to handle it. So, uh, the setup is basically this. I like to show Blitz, you don't have to. Um, but I like to show Blitz because when you show Blitz, it, it does a couple things. First and foremost, Cloud Flats, when you press Cloud Flats this year, they're terrible. Okay? They really are. They're really, really bad. Um, so... First and foremost, when we show blitz, now you don't have to worry about your cloud flats because they're going to have a delayed bump. They're going to be backed off a little bit. It's really helpful. The next reason is because this gives us a significant threat of the pressure. So we can send pressure. I'm going to pinch my line. We can send pressure off of both edges with either of these nickel corner slot corners. That's one of the reasons why this, to me, is the best defense in the game because it has different pressures you can send. You can send a double slot corner blitz. You can send a linebacker uh, blitz. You could bring this guy down and blitz him over the A-gap. Um, you can send loop blitzes in this still. There's a lot you can do. So, anyways, uh, from a coverage perspective, the coverage is essentially like a Tampa 3 style coverage where we're going to outside third both of our safeties to their corresponding size. Now, again, you can only do this um, if you leave this on default. If you put it to slot cornerback package, then they're not going to uh, allow you to do these adjustments. So, outside third left to the left, the right side safety is going to go into outside third to the right. So that's going to help because what you're going to see is that these outside thirds are going to do a really good job of kind of helping get more to the sideline to help guard uh, streaks, corners, crossers, all that stuff. Then what we want to do is we're going to take this linebacker that's on the left side that really has, you could use either one of these guys, but whichever linebacker you're not using, we want to put him in a middle third so that he can run, you know, essentially run the post, run the seams. Um, and then the last thing that we want to do is we want to drop the defensive tackle that is opposite of the running back side into a bluff blitz. And I like to blitz my user. I think that helps with the pass rush and the sheds. But we, the biggest thing is this right here. This is the core coverage, and I think it's one of the best coverages in the game. So what we're going to see here is, again, it's, it's an all-out coverage defense. And I'm going to go to a play set up like Y-Option Wheel where we're going to have the out route to the tight end, um, you know, and then over here we'll do a little motion, and you'll see how this works. Now, if you ever see motion and you're ever troubled by it, just base align twice and then reshow blitz, and you see that the formation will automatically fix it. Um, but what you see here is we're just going to kind of use her in this little seam, 
take that away. And basically the only thing they have open is the check down to the underneath uh, over there on the left side. So again, the setup is to show blitz, pinch defensive line. You don't have to do that. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to outside third both safeties. And then we're going to middle third, the linebacker. And I like to bluff blitz the defensive tackle opposite of the running back. You still can get really good sheds with this, especially if you blitz your user. You still can have the potential for the right, uh, the guy on the right side to come in untouched. So there's a lot that you have going for you. And again, you're just being able to kind of work essentially this little box. Um, you're going to work from the hash mark to the numbers on this side. That's kind of your little box that you're going to cover most of the time. And you see how good this is. Now, I'm going to go to another play real quick. I'm going to go to scat. Just kind of a traditional flood concept. And so what you'll see is this will do a really good job. So, again, we just want to force them to have to check down to the flat. So you see here this corner um, should be bagged every single time. Why is this bagging the corner? Because the cloud flats aren't pressed. If I was to press this cloud flat... Let me show you real quick. So I'm going to press this cloud flat. And what you'll see is this corner should just absolutely shred it to the sideline. Okay. But when I'm able to have that cloud flat backed off, he gets so much more depth and he's so much more effective. So again, this is a really simple defense, but I put this defense in almost, I think I put this defense in almost every ebook I write because it's a simple cover. It's a coverage concept, number one. And number two, um, it what it does is it's a essentially a keep the lid on defense if you will or just bimba don't break defense where we're just trying to force them to have to check down to the flat check down to the flat every now and then they'll sneak a throw in you can put um different abilities out there uh to help with zones you know different like mid zone ko's zone knockout abilities if you want to acrobats pick artists um will certainly help this defense and then the last concept i want to show you is something like this curl flat play um, you know, again here, I'm going to work to here, then I'm going to be able to come back over here and you see that it's just really hard. And again, if you have a good pass rush where you're shedding, like you want to have edge threats or you want to have double or nothings, or you want to have L something, right? If your guys are shedding, that's going to make this defense 10 times better because they're only going to have so long to throw and they're going to not be able to throw their first primary read. So they're all so often going to have to check the ball down into the flat and most people this year, they do have flat rat, flat passes. The animations on flat passes, especially against something like this, they really don't get that many yards. Um, so this is a really simple bimba don't break defense. You can do this out of other formations, but big nickel over G to me is the easiest one to do it out of and the best one to do it out of. Um, because again, this show blitz look, if I wanted to, I could do something like this. Right, so they start sending the back out a lot. So I'm just going to send the, the slot corner on the left, and then I'm just going to go user the back. And you see how good the pressure is, and we're able to essentially have this, you know very good coverage and behind it. So that is um, you know a simple way to run this Bemba don't break defense. If you guys want a little bit more in depth uh, analysis of the Big Nickel over G, make sure you join my Patreon. I released the Big Nickel over G ebook. I want to say August 16th or August 15th. Um, and it has stood the test of time. It's been one of my favorite defenses all year long. So if you want to learn the entire defense or if you want to learn some of our other stuff as well, make sure you join our Patreon. The link to sign up is in the description. And uh, thanks for watching the video. We hope to see you guys over at the Patreon page.